Maybe you're not going to be uh, the Larry Bird. Maybe you're not going to be, you know, uh, the Tiger Woods. You're not going to be in that level. But like you said, the millionaire next door. I mean, even now, even now more than ever, you know, the ability to trade. Let's talk about trading, right? The ability to trade is so available for everybody. You're thinking, Pastor, this is, this is supposed to be church. It's supposed to be Bible study. I'm studying the Bible. I'm telling you what the Word of God is saying. I'm telling you what the good book is saying. Right? The Bible is not just for heaven, y'all. Okay, yep, that's it. That is going to be the new limb drop. Com. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you the man, right. the myth. You got me <laughs> hype over just, here, bro. Right, what the Bible is not just to make you wealthy on the spiritual end. The Bible tells us, 3 John 2, I wish above all things that you will prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. So the prosperity of your soul should be reflected in the prosperity of the things that you have. And God is telling us how to do it. Don't be a sluggard. Don't talk about things that you're not going to do. Don't dream about stuff. Don't desire things that you're not going to go after. Don't say, oh, look at this person. Oh, I want that and I want this. And you're not out trying to gain it. You're not trying to garner it. You're not trying to press towards it. You're not trying to reach and get a hold of it. I want to just look good. You're looking good is not going to feed you. You're looking good is not going to have you enjoy your life at the end of your life. Having the nicest shoes, the newest shoes, maybe this is more for younger people. I was going to, I'm in this, this journey uh, of daily vlogging, presenting ideas, creative thoughts and ideas uh, onto a, the video platform. I'm on YouTube and, and I have like straight, today's the 10th day. Yeah, I was going to say about some of my regrets. You know, when I was younger, when I was younger, I, I was making about six to $800. You know, God bless my mom who brought me through nursing school, but I was, I was doing some nursing work. You know, I was 18, 19 years old, 20 years old. What was I, my parents were paying for the house, so forth and so on. And I remember asking somebody, you know, I should, I should invest. I should buy real estate. And they're like, oh, real estate is bad, blah, blah, blah. And I was talking to the wrong people. So what did I do? I started Which buying Nintendo. I started Your buying process. Sega Genesis. So today, we're I, you know, I stopped working a little bit. I, I, I became, uh, I did not want to work as much. If you're a young person listening to this, you need to understand what you have. What you have is strength. You have his time, you have his agility, you have insight, and you have people like we started in the beginning. The Bible says, uh, the Bible tells us, first one, a wise son hears his father's instructions. Right? There's an ability for a young person to take an older person, a more experienced person's knowledge and apply it for themselves. Right? I'm following a guy on YouTube. His name is Kevin. The house behind me is worth about four and a half million dollars. I could buy real this house and, and spend a million dollars he's, he's renovating it by 27, 27 years old. Right? Why is that? It's because you picked up. And we'll just put quotes. I don't. I, I didn't study him enough to know exactly where he got his his insights from but let's just put in quotes his father how in my life can i do the opposite and see there were two things did. i started learning i started realizing oh, wow, wait a minute maybe not directly really maybe he just saw it on youtube credit. maybe he just so on my 18th birthday, maybe he just saw his father's father doing it maybe he saw his friend's father doing it. who knows maybe he was already started wealthy and just learned how to do it from from his parents who knows the fact is he took the advice of somebody that is doing well and applied it to himself and for himself. And you look at him and you're like, huh, I wonder if the same opportunities that, that is for him is for me. Yes. Yes. The Bible says the diligent soul shall be made fat and the sluggard will desire and will have nothing. Yeah.